It is 623. Time for breakfast, right? Well, if you're getting ready to pour your bowl of cereal this morning, you might want to think twice. You know, we often hear that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but if you are only eating sugary breakfast foods, is that any better than skipping the meal at all? Experts say that early meals can be an important part of the day for some people, but only if it's truly a healthy breakfast. So what is a healthy breakfast? We have Dr. John Day here from Intermountain Medical Heart Institute to explain what a healthy breakfast is. Right. Well, first of all, this, this notion it's the most healthy meal of the day. Studies show for adults, it's just another meal. For kids, it's important for school, but for adults. So yeah, if your breakfast looks like processed carbohydrates, processed meats. Okay, that's what we're talking about that's here? That's what we're talking about here. Okay, if give us an example. So if your breakfast looks like bagels, uh, bacon, juice, breakfast cereal, you might be better off skipping breakfast. In other words, that maybe should be your plate, right? <laughs> Empty. Exactly. So what should people do? Maybe look at it. What would a healthy dinner look like? Maybe a good first step. Could you introduce a, a salad, a smoothie, a kale smoothie, something? Get some fruits, veggies in, uh, maybe some healthy protein. Okay, so uh, for adults then, what would be a healthy breakfast? I like, I, I like nuts, I like seeds, I mm -hmm. like uh, salads, maybe a little bit of fish, uh, something Picture what a healthy dinner might look like. Okay, and you talk about kids. What should they eat before they go to school? The healthier, the better. Okay. The same thing for them. If you can get some veggies and fruits in your kid before they go to school, they'll probably function a lot better at school. The healthier, the better, but kids do need breakfast. All right, so uh, adults, not necessarily. Optional. If it works for you, do it. If it doesn't work for you, don't feel compelled like you have to eat something. All right, uh, Dr. John Day, thank you very much. You can check out his website, johnday.com. You also have podcasts. Yes, absolutely. All right, Mary, back to you.